what's up everyone and welcome to this create pdf files using python code in this course i'm going to show you how we can generate pdf files using python so the library that we are going to use is it's called fpdf fpdf library allows us to generate pdf files using python code it's uh, free to use and it does not require any api keys it's very easy to use. It allows page formats and margins. It also allows to manage page headers and footers. It has a support for Python 2.5 and 3.7, maybe above. And it also supports Unicode, TrueType, Font, Subset, Embedding. It has a support for barcode. It has a support for P, uh, ping, GIF, and JPEG image formats. So yeah, that's about it. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to install the library in order to do that open your command shell go to your cmd or whatever you are using write pip install fpdf hit enter and it should install the fpdf library on your computer it says requirement already satisfied that's because i have already installed it on my computer so now i'm going to close this so as this is the first lecture of our course, I'm going to show you how you can convert strings and store them in a PDF file. So we are going to start with importing the library. So I'm going to say from F PDF import F PDF. So what we have done is we have imported the F PDF class from the F PDF package or library so now we need to instantiate the object of this fpdf class so the way we instantiate an object in python is we say fpdf or the name of the class then we add the parentheses so this will instantiate an object now we are going to store it store it in a variable i'm going to call that variable pdf so in layman's language what we have done is we have created our pdf file if you don't know the object oriented programming if you don't know what an object is you can see it like this that here in this line of code we created our pdf file this pdf file is blank now we need to add pages to it so i'm going to say pdf dot add underscore page this line will create uh, add a page to our blank pdf file that we created here now we will set the fonts for our pdf file so i'm going to say pdf dot set underscore font and here we need to mention the font type that we are going to use so i'll say arial because that's what i'm going to use then the font size so i'm going to say size equals 15 so this is what we will use so now so far what we have done is we have created our pdf file a blank pdf file then added one page to it now we set the font for the pdf now we will start adding text to the page that we added to our pdf file so what i'm going to say is i'm going to say pdf dot cell what this cell method will do is it will create a rectangular box on our page and inside that rectangular box we can add the text so the first argument will be the width of that box second argument is going to be the height of that box third argument will be the text that we want to add inside that box so let's say it's actually txt let's say this is a test text all right now the third uh, parameter will fourth parameter actually will be the ln i'm going to set it equal to one and now we need to set the alignment to our um, and now we need to set the alignment to our text which i'm going to set equal to c which is stands for center we if you want to align the text towards right you can write r inside here like this if you want to align it to the left you can write l inside this like this but we are going to set it equal to center so what i actually mean by this alignment is this alignment actually works for the box that we are going to create on top of this page so 
if I am saying align it to the center, it will be aligned inside this box in the center. So this is how it's going to work. Now we need to save our PDF. So I'm going to say PDF dot output and give it a name. Let's say test six dot PDF. So what we have done is let's recap one more time. We created our PDF file. We added a one page to our blank PDF file. Then we set our fonts. Then we created a cell and we inserted this text inside that cell. Now we are outputting our file as test6.pdf. So if I come to my current working directory, you can see I have these files here, but I don't have a file named. Let me show you test6.pdf. Show you again. If you see here, we don't have a file name called test6.pdf. So if I run this code, we should get a file called test6.pdf inside that folder. So let me run this code. So we are getting an error. What is the error? PDF dot. PDF is not defined. Okay, I have a typo here. So PDF. Run the code again. It ran successfully. Let's see if it added that file or not. Yes, test6.pdf has been added. Open the file. You can see here is the text that we added inside that PDF file. So this is how you can add a text and store them as a PDF files using Python. So I hope you find this video helpful. In the next video, we are going to see how we can take one text file which has some text inside it and then convert it into a PDF file. So stay tuned for that video. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Peace out.